Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction Company. And if I can be honest with you guys, it's the end of what has been a fairly long day of filming. And I've got this. And I found this out in the racks here at Rock Island, and it was way too funky looking not to grab, to figure we'll take a look at, do a video on. Like, But I tell you what, I, just, I have no idea. I got nothing. Uh, there are no markings on this. This appears to be clearly a one-off handmade sort of thing. It is a three-barreled shotgun, and I I don't know. Let's take a closer look at it. Let's just start at the front. It's got three barrels. They're all smooth bore. For some reason, one of them on the bottom is round, and the other two are octagonal. It does have a front sight up here. Keep that in mind. Barely. Moving back along the barrel, we have a lot of nothing until we hit this round vertical front grip, which that, that part kind of makes sense, because where else are you going to hold this thing except on the barrels, which are going to get hot, I suppose, if you shoot much? But they're also muzzle loaders, so I don't know that you would be shooting all that much. Anyway, the real funky bits are back here. We've got two hammers on the top, and one particularly funky hammer on the bottom. And all of this stuff is on the outside of the gun, which is, in a way, kind of cool, because it gives you a really good eye for, you know, you can see exactly how this all works. So with these two hammers, for example, I'm going to show you on the left side here, and I, I went and dropped this to start with. So we've got a mainspring here that actually powers the hammer. We've got some notches, we've got a sear, and we've got the actual trigger down there. So what the trigger does is it simply pulls pivots the sear on this center screw. So, like that. There's a little hook here at the front, and that is going to lock into notches on the hammer. So that's the safety notch, that's half cock, oh, no, sorry, that's fully cocked. When I pull the trigger, the trigger simply pushes down on that sear bar. Now in this orientation it's going to be pushing up on it. And when you do that, this hook drops out of the notch on the hammer, lets the hammer down, and fires. You've got return tension on this, provided by this little flat spring right there. And that's it. Like That's how a uh, percussion hammer trigger sear system works. Unless it's this one on the bottom, which is a whole different kettle of wax, where hammer here is integral to its own spring, and it's got a uh, handle out here to use it, and then this is actually your bottom trigger. So you pull that back, hook the trigger into it like that, and then when you pull the trigger it just pops out and lets this thing snap down and fire that bottom barrel. So that all makes sense. It's a little weird that all these things are put in combination together. You've got like a little block of wood here. Uh, oh, remember that front sight? Well, there's the rear sight, if you can even call it that. But hey, it's a shotgun, so maybe you just use the front sight like a bead. Now here's the wackiest thing. And I Maybe it's just because it's the end of a long day, or maybe this is just legitimately really weird. But the buttstock pivots. It pivots that much. So from there, to there, to there. Only that much. If you look at this hinge, you've only got a little bit of space before it hits a solid stop. So there it is all the way at the bottom, opens up there. There it is all the way at the top. This thing is a screw that goes across. Uh, I did make an attempt to take that screw out, just for kicks, to see if there's anything under there. This is really tightly in there, and so uh, it didn't want to budge, and I wasn't about to force it. Anyway, the same person who did some kind of kind of crude, weird stuff like this also appears to have put a fair amount of time into checkering this stock, and you know they put a really nice-looking piece of wood on this gun, which is, I mean, a little weird. Like the two don't seem to go together all that well. So normally if I say on video that here's this feature and I don't understand why it's there, like I'm not sure what that does, usually that means that there is some reasonably blindingly obvious purpose that I've somehow managed to completely overlook, and approximately a billion people in the comments will tell me about it. Which 
sometimes is irritating, but often, more often than not, is actually nice. Like, ah, oh, of course, it was that. Like, duh. Like, why there are markings on the underside of a CAR 98K site? It's so that you can read the thing by lifting it up when you're prone. Anyway, I digress. Maybe someone has some brilliant idea for why this stock bends, or why this gun is. So if you do, let me know. Uh, if you are interested in it yourself, it is of course coming up here at the Rock Island Auction Company. You can check out their pictures and description and all that good stuff uh, in their catalogue. Um, I can't post a link to it, because YouTube won't let me. However, I can post links to Rock Island's Instagram page and YouTube page, YouTube channel. Uh, so those are in the description text below. Check those out to see a bunch of, you know, what's always going on, what's new at Rock Island. And uh, thanks for watching. I am gonna go... I think I'm gonna go back to guns that are a little bit more normal and explainable.